wine friends and happy wine Wednesday. If you are new, I'm Ali from A Glass After Work. Thanks for joining. So today I am actually going to share not just wines, but also snacks. Um, you know, we've kind of cut back on our snacking during this whole pandemic, um, but if you guys are anything like us, the wine consumption and the snacking has definitely increased a bit. So um, I thought it might be fun to look at some wine snacks. So what I'm gonna share with you is wine chips. There's three different flavors and the idea behind them is that they're um, simple and portable and shareable. And of course, um, cheese laden because you can't do any type of snack with wine without it being cheese, right? They have three different flavors and I'm gonna share all three with you and then pair them with some wines. Um, the Manchego flavor is um, gonna pair it with the rosé and we're gonna do the um, 2018 Hampton Water, which I reviewed last week. And then we've got the blue cheese flavor, which they say pairs with Sauvignon Blanc or with port or sweet wine. I'm gonna do it with a, um, 2018, uh, 2018 Reserve Durant Sancerre, which is a Sauvignon Blanc. And then we are going to finish off with the smoked Gouda. And the smoked Gouda pairs with Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Grigio, or a uh, festive sparkling wine. I am gonna taste it with the 2014 Ideology Estate uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Wine chips come two ways. You can buy the starter pack, which uh, contains the canisters and inside the canister that it arrives in there's a little baggie plus it includes two other baggies so basically you're getting three bags of um, chips in your starter kit and that's twenty dollars or you can get the refill um, since once you already have one canister you probably don't need more and those refills are uh, fourteen dollars and they come with just three filler bags let's uh dig on in to the Manchego. Here, I'll taste it first and then we can uh, taste it with the wine. So, all right. So they're kind of small, ruffly, ridgy looking chips. Um, definitely there's a lot of um, cheese on it. Definitely lots of powder. probably here very good crunch um I'm not sure it tastes like Manchego to me um definitely has a cheese flavor but I don't know if I would say that it tastes like Manchego oh and I, of course I want to point out I've got my Simply Charmed wine charms today um on the rosé I've got um the cheese one on the white wine I've got a um white grapes one and on the red wine I've got a um, purple grapes one they're all from the Napa Valley uh, set which I've actually shared before um, but I'll link on that down below too all right so now that we've tasted one of the chips let's uh, let's give a taste of the wine I mean okay um, I think the chip is good. I think the wine is good. Um, I, I wouldn't say that the pairing sings to me. I don't say, oh my God, I, I need to have more of it. But um, but it, but I think it, it, it's fine. Hmm. Well, we'll come back to that maybe. So the 2018 Zoran Reserve Sancerre is a wine that I grabbed off of wine.com for $20. All right, it's got a nice, uh, nice lemon color happening. Oh, lots of um, citrus and grassy notes. Um, definitely a lot of lime, a lot of grapefruit. Also getting a little bit of um, Granny Smith apple on there and some white, uh, white flower blossoms, but it's mostly that citrus grassy um, side of things. All right, why don't we give it a taste? Cheers. Mm. Well, that was quite lovely and refreshing. Um, so lots of limes, lots of grapefruit, a little bit of a um, little bit of white flowers in there, a little bit of apple, Granny Smith apple, maybe even a little bit of passion fruit. We've been drinking some passion fruit truly, so I think maybe it's in my mind, but I, I think there's a little bit of passion fruit in there too. Well, that's quite lovely. Um, I would say 
um, regardless of the chips or anything, this would be great with like a grilled chicken and salad and seafood and yeah. Let's uh, take a bite of those chips. All right, similar to the Montego chip, we're ruffly and ridgy and it's got a good, good powder covering from, from the cheese. Very crunchy. Um, definitely getting blue cheese notes. I would say it's um, a milder blue cheese. So if you're not a blue cheese fan, I wouldn't shy away from this. It's definitely on the milder side. It's got a hint of that kind of bite that a blue cheese does, but it's also a lot more approachable. Um, I actually, I really like the blue cheese. Ooh, and that does pair quite lo lovely. Um, Part of it is that the wine's really good. Part of it is that I really like the blue cheese chips. That was a very nice pairing. A little bit of the saltiness and a little bit of the fat from the chips mix really well with the um, acidity from the from the Sancerre. It's That's actually, that's quite quite lovely. I, I, I really enjoy that pairing. All right, uh, well, we've got one more. This wine, the Ideology uh, Estate Cabernet Sauvignon is from Ideology Cellars. So this wine, I believe I got in my last Gary Vee Wine Club shipment. Um, I paid, I think, about $30 for it through Wine Library. Uh, I'm not really sure how much it's selling for now. I can't really seem to find any of it actually available. Um, I think because it's the 2014 vintage. Um, Ideology Cellars has a female winemaker and there was only 980 cases of this produced. So this is a fairly small production. Ooh, that is a lovely, lovely dark garnet. Oh, and I can already smell the nose from here. Oh yes, that is a great nose. Um, blueberries and blackberries and black cherries and vanilla and Maybe some cocoa dust, some dark chocolate, uh, dark chocolate dust. Definitely some cedar and cigar boxy type smell. Um, oh, oh that's really, really big, lovely nose. Uh, I might even actually have done pretty well with, um, with an aerator. All right, why don't we give it a taste? Cheers. Mm. All right, so this is a big wine. Um, getting lots of gum pull, lots, so big tannins, lots of gum pull. Um, has some 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 nice acidity. Actually, I bet the acidity will go well with the potato chips. Um, this is a big wine. I I am kind of feeling like maybe this is more of a you know, filet wrapped in baking kind of wine with some twice baked potatoes. Cause wow, that would be very nice with this. All right, let's go in for these smoked Gouda chips. All right, so these are a little darker, probably not surprising considering that it's a smoked Gouda, but definitely still all of the ridges, good coverage on the, on the chips with the, with the cheese. Mm. Well, tastes like smoked gouda. Um, definitely like if you like a barbecue type chip, smoked gouda, that sort of thing. This is definitely hitting those notes very, very nicely. Let's uh, put it with the wine. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> um, so interestingly, Manchego is probably my favorite of the cheeses that we um, tasted, right? Like in terms of Manchego, blue cheese, or smoked Gouda. Smoked Gouda is probably next, and then blue cheese would probably be after that. I think I liked the Manchego the least out of all of these. Not that I didn't like it, but it didn't it didn't really sing to me as being Manchego. The pairing with the with the Hampton water was just okay. Um, I really enjoyed the blue cheese with the Sancerre. That went really well. I gotta say though, this smoked Gouda and the cab, mm. I may not even let Don taste this. I might just eat the chips and drink the wine myself. That's so good. 
Wow. Well, I'd love to know, have you heard of wine chips? Have you tried them? Um, you know, and, and if not, what, what are your favorite wine snacks? Uh, obviously like cheese plates and charcuterie boards, I definitely got that, but I'd be interested to know what else do you, uh, what else do you snack on when you're, when you're drinking wine? Let me know in the comments down below. And I think that is everything I have. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate those. If you aren't already a subscriber, you can do that by clicking on the icon right there or in the subscribe button down below. But don't forget, also click on that bell. It'll notify you when I upload a new video, which is gonna be every wine Wednesday. And if you are looking for a recommendation, you can find one right there. Thanks for joining and I hope you're staying safe and healthy. Happy Wine Wednesday. Cheers.